In previous videos, we've looked at how to find the sector area and the arc length when you're given the angle. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the angle when you're given either the sector area or the arc length. So, if you're asked to find the angle marked x in a sector where uh, the radius is 4, cent 4 meters and the arc length is 3.5 meters, your starting point is maybe going to be the formula for finding the arc length. And we can say that the arc length is equal to the angle over 360 times pi times the diameter. Okay, so we can just write that actually as pi d. Now, at this point, it doesn't matter if you substitute in first and then rearrange, or if you want to rearrange first and then substitute. It's up to you. But I'll, what I'll do is I'll, I'll rearrange what we've got here and then we'll substitute in. So you want to find x. You want to change the subject of this formula uh, to x. So what we'll do is we'll write it as, uh, we'll just swap the sides. We'll say write the right-hand side on the left-hand side, on the left-hand side, on the right-hand side. Okay. Now, if we're going to go from here, we'll say that uh, dividing both sides by pi d gives us x over 360 is equal to the arc length divided by pi d. And if I multiply now by 360, I end up with x is equal to the arc length over pi d times 360. So that's the formula I'm going to use, having rearranged it, to get x as the subject. And just notice what we did. We just swapped sides, both the left-hand side on the right-hand side and the right-hand side on the left-hand side. And then we divided both sides by pi d at this point. And then at this point, we multiplied both sides by 360. Okay. Now, now that I've got my formula, I can just say, well, angle x is equal to the arc length, which is 3.5, divided by pi times diameter. Now, the diameter here is going to be 8. Okay. So we're going to divide by 8 pi. And then we multiply by 360. And to the nearest whole number, we get an answer of 50 degrees. Now, as I say, it doesn't matter if you substitute in first and then rearrange, or if, as we did, you rearrange to get this formula first and then substitute in your values. And that's how you find the angle given the arc length. Now, in this question, what you're given is the sector area. And you're told your sector has a radius of 6 centimetres and that the area of the sector is 63 centimetres squared. Again, taking your sector area formula as your starting point, the sector area is the angle over 360 times the area of the circle, which is pi r squared. Now again, we'll just rearrange first and then we'll substitute in later. So rearranging then, um, if I write the right-hand side on the left-hand side, x over 360 times pi r squared is going to be equal to the sector area. Now, if you want to ma make x the subject uh, of your formula, what we can do first of all is maybe we can multiply both sides by, um, well, we'll divide both sides by pi r squared first. doesn't really matter what we do first. They cancel out. You end up with x over 360 is equal to the sector area divided by pi r squared. And then we can multiply both sides by 360. They cancel out. We end up with x equals the sector area over pi r squared multiplied by 360. And now that I've got my formula, then I can just substitute in the values. Okay, so angle x is going to be uh, 63, my sector area, over pi r squared, which is going to be 36 pi, because 6 squared is 36. Multiply that by 360, and to the nearest whole number, you get an answer of 201. Always ask yourself, does your answer look right? Does it look like what you've got? And in this case, it does. Okay. Now, here are a couple of examples for you to try yourselves. Okay. So, try this one first. 
So we're looking for the angle marked x. You've given the arc length as well as the radius. So pause the video, have a go yourself, and check back and see how you got on. In this question, if we make the sector area, uh, the arc length, sorry, if we make the arc length formula our starting point, arc length is the angle over 360 times pi d. We are arranging all that. We get that x is equal to uh, the arc length divided by pi d times 360. Okay, so you should have been able to rearrange your formula to get it in that format. Taking it from there, you can say that angle x is going to be the arc length of 25 divided by pi times the diameter. Now the diameter is going to be 34, so 34 pi times that by 360. And we end up to the nearest whole number with an answer of 84 degrees. Okay? Here's the second example for you to try yourselves. This time we are given the area of the sector as being 289 millimetres squared, and you're told your radius is 12 millimetres. So I'd imagine that you would have started off by saying that the sector area is the angle over 360 times pi r squared. And then rearranging that, you get that x is equal to the sector area divided by pi r squared multiplied by 360. Okay, and now that you've got that formula, we arranged with x as your subject, you're now good to go, and you can substitute, substitute in the values that you're given. So x is going to be the sector area of 289 divided by pi r squared, and your radius is 12, 12 squared is 144, so we're dividing by 144 pi, we multiply by 360, and you end up to the nearest whole number again with an answer of 230 degrees. So that's how you find the angle when you're given the arc length of the sector area. Take the formula as you know it. We are injured to get x as, as the subject and then substitute in the values that you're given. Or alternatively, substitute in first, then we arrange secondly. So that's uh, hopefully been helpful. And uh, these questions uh, should hopefully be more doable now. Okay.